You know, today I'm a bit under the weather. I've got a little bit of a cold and I haven't had a cold in, it's been well over five years. So if I sound a little froggy, that's why. But today I'm going to show you what I like to eat when I'm not feeling my best, when I maybe feel a little under the weather. I've got a cold, so nothing really sounds good. I just feel like having something comforting. I'm going to show you what I like to eat when I'm feeling a little under the weather, so stick around. Hi, Debbie Chu here from Chew on Vegan and welcome back to my kitchen. If you're new here, I'm a plant-based RN and I follow the Starch Solution. The Starch Solution is a program that was developed by Dr. John McDougall and on his program I was able to lose those last 15 pounds. If you'd like more information on the Starch Solution, I'll leave a link to his book in the description box below. On my channel you're going to find quick and easy whole food plant-based recipes that are no oil and gluten-free. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell to make sure you're notified every time I upload a video, which is every Tuesday and Saturday. And for more plant-based content, please follow me on Instagram at ChewOnVegan. And if you're new to this way of eating, but just feel like you maybe need some more support, I started a Facebook group and there you'll find recipes, inspiration, and support. And if you're still not convinced that a plant-based diet is right for you, I created an e-guide that explains the benefits of a plant-based diet. And be sure to sign up for my newsletter. It goes out every other month. And in my newsletters, I address different topics, different health concerns, uh, some tips, tricks, recipes, all kinds of different things. I'll leave a link to uh, the Facebook group, my newsletter, and my e-guide in the description box below. So let's get started on these tater tots. So we're going to start with two Yukon Gold potatoes. These were just microwaved. If you have leftover potatoes, you can use any kind that you want. Yeah. So I'm just going to use a potato masher and get these mashed up. It's pretty quick. And that's about good enough. Now I did peel them for the most part, but you can see there's a little bit of peel in there and that's no big deal. All right, next I have a half a cup of riced cauliflower. And then I have about a cup of leftover broccoli, but I'm going to cut this up so we don't have big chunks in there. Got these pretty small, otherwise they're not gonna really stick together. So I'm gonna put that in there. And then for spices, I have a heaping tablespoon of nutritional yeast. I've got a half a teaspoon each of smoked paprika, garlic powder, onion powder. And if you use salt, you could add a little bit of salt too. I don't think they need it. And then I'm just gonna mix these super well. These are really easy to make. I'm gonna put them in my air fryer. You could also do them in the oven. I put them on a line baking sheet, 400 degrees for probably 30 minutes, flip them halfway through. Um, in the air fryer, I'm gonna say 400 for 15, 20 minutes. You're gonna shake them probably halfway through. But all you're doing is just, you guys all remember what tater tots look like when you were a kid. You're just gonna shape them like a little tater tot, stick them in your air fryer. And probably that's about a good size. Maybe that one's a little bit too big. Maybe closer to this size, yeah. All right, I'm just gonna continue making the rest of my tater tots. You wanna make sure they're in a single layer. They can be close, but not touching. Uh, that way they get a uniform crispness. So I'm gonna finish these, stick them in the air fryer, and then I'll show you the finished product. So we've got our tater tots. Look at that, nice and crispy got some ketchup. I'm serving it with my black bean and sweet potato chili. It's a little bit spicy. It's going to help clear my sinuses and that's always helpful when you've got a cold. So let's give this a taste. So this is just what the doctor ordered. Some nice comfort food. I've got my tater tots here 
and they're filled with broccoli and cauliflower. You can't go wrong there. And then I've got my black bean and sweet potato chili. I'll leave a link to that recipe in the description box. It's very important when you're not feeling well that you still eat healthy. It's really important to help your immune system, help you heal, help you get better. So I know it's very tempting to just cave into our cravings and maybe we would get cravings for junk food, but that's the worst thing you can do when you're sick. Take it from me. So let's give these tater tots a try. Mm. Perfect, crispy on the outside, soft in the middle, just like you remember when you were a kid. So if you've made it this far in the video, comment below, tater tots, give me a thumbs up. And that way I know that you've watched till the end and I really appreciate that. It helps my channel grow. And be sure to share my video so we get the word out how easy it is to eat a whole food plant-based diet. And as always, all my recipes are good for you. They're good for the animals and they're good for the planet. And what you put on your plate determines your fate and your weight. Until next time, thank you. Hi, Debbie Chu here from Chu on... Mm. And for more plant-based content, please follow me at Chew on Vegan on... <clears throat> and for more plant-based... Funkin' Nassau. Oh, hello.